Hey, what's going on ladies and gents? Welcome back to another video. Okay, so we got the new 2.4 update uh, preview page that Genshin just showed us. And since I didn't quite cover it, I'm going to cover it right now to give you guys a sense of informational completion. Okay, that's that, okay. I'm going to retract the statement I just said because it's kind of weird. Here we go. Uh, if you just go to the notices here, you should find it somewhere over here. Yes, there it is. Genshin Impact event for the Lantern Rite. So uh, I'm kind of excited for this one to come and uh, I'll try it for the first time. So all right so uh if you actually share the page quote unquote all you gotta do is just click this link or click that button and you're pretty much gonna get the twenty thousand promised you but here we go um it's actually some music that goes along with this uh, i'm gonna lower the volume though um so we got shun huh right here looking mighty fine you also get a trailer i suppose of how you can uh, fight with her or her, you know, her animations and stuff she looks absolutely incredible and we're gonna talk a little bit about her kit as well as seeming as though the actually you know talked about it in the live stream themselves so we're gonna do a little bit of that she's an adepti apparently or adepti disciple um but she pretty much spent all her time in the mountain anyways a new weapon called the calamity queller this is her weapon or her five star weapon they're going to release you know information about it on twitter soon enough we've got also coaching's new opulent splendor skin pretty sure ningguang also gets one but we can click this and we can kind of see it right here and it looks pretty darn good you can actually click this to share i'm not quite sure uh, i'm pretty sure you can just you know click this button and then you've got the event so we have four events in total i think this is the archon quest i'm not really sure and uh, this one's pretty weird <laughs> i think i'm gonna actually like this one and then the Oceanic Defender, which is just, you know, you fight a boss. And there is a new area called Enkanomiya. Looks probably the best out of any of the new islands that have come out so far. New boss, the Rhyme Biter Bishop, or Bishop rather. Looks cool, and there's two types. I'm pretty sure this is the has the um, Battle Boss material, so we're gonna have to farm that a lot. Wait, 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 wait hold on, hold on, hold on. There's more enemies to be found. And there's the bolt one and then there's the new abyss lecture the fathomless flames looks pretty rad all right here we go we got wind trace as well it is coming back and all of us are pretty excited for this one legit everybody loves wind trace and we have a whole new region to explore with it so all right and we got the eight locals over mountain and seas and we got the studying potions cool in general i'm really really excited for them and i cannot wait to see them in the game and i cannot wait to see shen he in the game as we uh you know i'm real close to getting her in the actual game herself so yeah let's just cover some of the stuff that she does do in the actual game all right so shen he actually is a pretty interesting support character for characters like maybe ganyu for characters like yula and i'll tell you why in a second but she is sort of an exorcist that you know they wanted to focus a lot on that you know sort of theme to surrounding her that's what they based her off she has two types of elemental skill the way you interact with the elemental skill i guess you have a press and a hold the press you sort of just do a dash that does cryo damage and the hold that does sort of an aoe cryo damage type thing pretty much do the same thing but with a talent that she actually has when you you know you ascend her you get different types of buffs depending on if you press the elemental skill or if you hold the elemental skill both will increase your attack based on shun he's attack at least from what i know from the live stream or how they said it that is what they have said so it's pretty good for characters like zhao that was gonna you know pretty much gonna make benefit all of this however she has another talent that gives 15 percent cryo damage bonus when she uses her ultimate a little bit unusual but she's a supporting character nonetheless um she unleashes like in aoe and that keeps doing aoe damage after you know you unleash it has a talisman spirit type of buff that keeps going on it's going to decrease the cryo resistance and physical resistance of opponents within that field it's like a damage over time thing and there's a certain duration for it pretty sure that she is uh, she's going to be an excellent support unit for a character like gan yu and even xiao so you guys are going to have a good time like that as well as i want to try her on eula because you're going to have the cry resistance and the physical resistance shred it's going to be an interesting experience when you have her on eula's team and i cannot wait to have her in genshin impact i've already made a two like two videos on her already but here we are 
<laughs> making another one. But yes, I'm really, really excited for her to come to Genshin Impact. And I hope you guys are as well. There's a lot to come and cover. And hopefully you guys do enjoy. Guys, thank you so much for the incredible support you guys have shown my channel. It really, really does mean a lot to me. And hopefully you guys have an awesome rest of your day. See you guys in the next video very soon. Subscribe and like the video if you like it. See you guys in the next one.